why no contact works on everyone. So the beginning of a breakup, most of the time, respect and attraction are both really, really low. So this is the problem. In my videos, I like to have a, this is the problem and this is a solution, first half, back half. So respect is low, attraction is low. Negative energy, negative emotions over time cause breakups. And a lot of times people don't know the fundamentals to a relationship to keep it together. They don't know how to push and pull, how to do the, the dance when it's okay to put your foot down and say what you want to say and when to pull back. There are certain ways that you do that and, and, and how you do it. And so what ends up happening is respect drops and as soon as it drops below a certain amount, right? If this is the graph and this is where it needs to be and this is where it will hover. It'll go like, uh, like this throughout the whole relationship. As soon as it goes, as soon as it goes down here like this, this is when they break up with you on its descent. They will test you more and more. So for this quick interruption, I just want to offer this to you. If you're looking to make this kind of money every single month, look no further. I have a program called Money School. So Money School is a place where you guys will learn how to make money in several different ways. Look, going through a breakup, going through stuff like that is really, really hard. And you should put your focus in on something. Why not do it with a side hustle? I teach YouTube, blogging, agency work, all kinds of stuff. So if you're interested in that, send me a direct message on one of my socials in the description box or send me an email or join the free Discord. Everything's in the description box below for you. Check it out. And this is why respect it goes out the window. This is why attraction goes out the window because as they test you, you fail these tests. So no contact works on everyone because of the principle of what no contact is actually about, which is strength and being strong and being willing to basically say fuck you to your ex, okay? Now, I don't suggest that you say that, okay? I don't want somebody to take this too seriously. Strength is the ultimate way that you can show someone that you aren't the weak person that you were shown to be through all this testing. And a lot of the times, um, these tests are actually easy to pass if you were willing to see that you have, you should have shown yourself, you should have shown respect for yourself, boundaries, that kind of stuff. And a lot of the times, this is why a lot of nice guys um, that do end up getting into a relationship will fail regardless because they're so attached to the idea of a relationship they don't want to ever lose a relationship so they're letting their their significant other walk all over them so it's really really important that you have to understand that strength is your ultimate um go to and no contact is going to show them that you are strong it works on everyone because everyone thinks for some reason that their ex is some sort of uh, you know outlier oh my god they're never going to reach out to me everybody thinks that the amount of times I have heard, oh my God, Kyle, you have, you've never heard this story. I bet this is the craziest story you've ever heard. And it's not. It's a regular ass breakup. It just happened to be a certain way. So you um, think it's special, but it's not. Okay. Because you're emotionally involved. Whenever you're emotionally involved, okay. Whenever you're emotionally involved, it seems like it seems like it's so much more than it is, and it's not. So it's not. And a lot of people think I'm not going to do no contact because if I do no contact, my ex doesn't. No contact doesn't apply to my ex because she's special. Okay, it's not true. It's not true at all. They are a person. They're they. We know when somebody is acting like a weak person. We know when somebody's acting without dignity and respect for themselves. Like when somebody's getting bullied, for example, here's a real example. When you, you might've seen someone get bullied and maybe you even wanted to step in, but you know that that person needs to stand up for themselves because if they don't stand up for themselves, I mean, this happens in prison all the time, right? Then people are going to punk you. They're just going to. So you have to stand up for yourself. And this happens in school. This happens wherever, you know, 
school, prisons, anything like that. <laughs> and if you don't stand up for yourself, you will get punked forever. And women especially want to be with a guy who is strong. Okay. Because if she can sway you, her being a woman, if she can sway you and get you to act emotional, she's going to think, what can the world, this guy can't take the world on. What the fuck? And that's what she's going to think. She won't even think it consciously. She'll just be turned off by you. And she's like, I don't even know why I don't like this guy anymore. I just don't. That's what she's going to start saying. She'll say it to her friends, her family, etc. That's what you guys have to do. It works on everybody. You just have to make it happen.